okay finally talking about the last property of real numbers absolute value of real numbers finally we talk about modulus a minus b is always less than or equal to so what we have seen till now are the additive properties okay addition we've seen addition we've seen subtraction now this is a combination of both this is a combination of both when you need to uh, when you need to combine both addition and subtraction what is the relationship in in terms of absolute value the absolute value of a minus b is always less than or equal to the sum of the absolute values individual absolute values now how to prove it again to prove this i would like to use the concept of max so a minus b absolute value is equal to max a minus b and b minus a okay so what do we have to prove so my r lhs becomes max of a minus b and b minus a and I need to prove that this is less than or equal to absolute value A plus absolute value B okay so that's what we have to prove and of course then what will be sufficient for me to prove so it suffices to prove sufficient to prove that if each of these are less than or equal to RHS then I'm through so a minus B is less than or equal to absolute value a plus absolute value B and B minus a is less than or equal to absolute value a plus absolute value B then that would mean the max is also less than or equal to RHS so that is why we will try to prove what is sufficient for us to prove so starting off with now a a is less than or equal to absolute value of a and B is less than or equal to absolute value of minus B is less than or equal to absolute value of minus B okay now if we add what will the sum give me the sum will give me a minus b is less than or equal to mod a plus minus mod b minus mod b is same as saying this will be equal to mod a plus mod b okay so this is same as this because absolute values are same right absolute value of minus 1 is also 1 absolute value of 1 is also 1 so that is why and then on the other hand when we have to prove b minus a we can take that b is less than or equal to absolute value b and minus a is less than or equal to absolute value minus 1 and again by taking the sum we get that b minus a should be less than or equal to absolute value b plus absolute value of minus a and that is same as absolute value b plus absolute value a and hence because these two things hold so that means we have proved what we wanted to prove because each of these is less than or equal to this so that means max will be less than or equal to RHS and hence LHS is less than or equal to RHS now your job is to try to feed in certain numbers in these properties and check for yourself